Swami Vivekananda, Vivekananda Sutras, each soul is potentially divine. The goal is to manifest this divine within <coughs> by controlling nature, <coughs> external and internal. Do this either by work or worship or psychic control or philosophy by one or more or all of these and be free this is the whole of the religion the whole of religion doctrines or dogma or rituals or books or temples or forms or but secondary details invocation i bow to sri swami vivekananda a mere glance of whose eyes is enough to impart both enjoyment and liberation whose tramples with ease the myriads holds of vice who is the veritable shiva with the crescent moon on the forehead and who is worshiped by hindu swami vivekananda a brief life sketch we cannot think of sri rama without thinking of hanuman or remember sri krishna without remembering arjuna in the same way do buddha and ananda go together as do christ and saint paul too even such is the link between sri ramakrishna and swami vivekananda for the one was the spring and the other was the stream conveying the spring's water even such is the link between sri ramakrishna and swami vivekananda for the one was the spring and the other was the stream conveying the spring's waters god to ramakrishna was a fact and a reality he did not have to argue about god he could affirm god he was the peak of indian spiritual culture his vision was cosmic and his realization was all embracing swami vivekananda was his chief disciple his most beloved people his greatest heir his greatest heir his right interpreter and his most efficient executive swami vivekananda was born in calcutta on january 12 1863 January 12, 1863, on the holy day of Makra Shankaranti. His father was Vishwanath Dutta, a prominent lawyer of Calcutta, and his mother was Bhuvaneshwari Devi, a very cultured woman of aristocratic upbringing. The Duttas named the child Narendranath, and the mother believed that He had come to her in answer to her ardent prayers to Lord Shiva. The child was the darling of everybody in and near home and was boisterous and vivacious. There was in him an exuberance of the active element. It was hard for his people to tackle and control him. He grew into an athlete and was proficient in all kinds of games and sports he was as good at studies as at play he was a student with superlative talents both innate and acquired his range of reading was wide his powers of understanding were keen he had a very retentive memory and in the discriminative faculty he was very much above his age even as a boy He was highly skillful and deeply meditative. There were deeper powers in his young being than are usually found in youths. 
he was challenging and knew no peer a hundred graces and excellences marked him out as a 